so it's time to start another video series and I'm hella excited for this one. I'm just gonna be trying certain things for a week. So this week I tried not to procrastinate for a week and it's been fun. <laughs> this series is inspired by a series Living with Lucy on Refinery29. She does videos where she tries stuff for five days and I decided to do stuff for seven days but it's definitely inspired by that because I love watching that series and I really wanted to do something like that of my own. Let's see how I did with trying not to procrastinate this week. <laughs> it is Monday, February 26th and that means it's time to start this challenge. I want to try certain like tactics or experiments. So I started out by writing down a to-do list, but not like I normally do. Usually, you know, I think everyone writes all the things that you want to do. I wrote all the things that I want to get done today, but I wrote that so that I don't forget what I want to do. But then I wrote like a separate list where I'm only going to do the thing that I want to do right now and once I get that thing done I'm gonna write another thing down and then another one and then another one <laughs> so that I can do one thing at a time which is I think super important because if you try to do many things at once you will slip to procrastination I'm pretty sure and yeah but today I'm just gonna try this out we'll see how it goes maybe it's not gonna be helpful but I hope so and this week is probably gonna be really fun cuz like I can be productive like really productive and it's like I am conscious and aware of how I spend my time and usually I actually like make decisions as to what I want to do let's be real when I'm working on something for school that I hate working on I procrastinate I have a lot of things to do that I hate doing which is how I'm gonna test uh, if it's possible not to procrastinate this week because I'm actually graduating this year just like a little quick background and I have things that I need to do for that like I need to make some notes for some questions whatever it doesn't matter and uh, I hate it <laughs> I hate doing that because it's like really exhausting but I need to get it done and the sooner the better and so I think that this week is awesome and I really need it. So let's see if I can manage not to procrastinate. Also, by the way, I've been talking for three minutes, but just a quick thing that I want to say, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be procrastinating by vlogging and sharing like what is going on with you, which I mean it's like I need the shots for the videos, but I'm pretty sure that it's just going to happen. But that is going to be the only procrastination that I'm going to allow myself and I'm going to try not to um, do it too much. I'm doing exactly what I said I would be doing, which is procrastinating by talking to you, but I already have observations and I've been trying this for like 10 minutes. <laughs> First observation, I think for me, for school, it's like I always procrastinate and I'm like disgusted to do the thing that I supp I'm supposed to do. But it's like once you start so often, you find out that it's not that bad. Like for me right now, like this is not difficult. It's not. It's gonna take me some time and it's like not the easiest thing in the universe. But it's not that difficult to do. It's like I just need to put together some of my notes and kind of like organize it or whatever. And that's not that bad. And if I don't procrastinate, it's actually gonna take me like 30 minutes to an hour, which is fine. And yeah, so that's one thing. And another thing, I'm already having those thoughts of like, I three seconds ago, I thought of like, I told myself, what if I go film the video that I wanted to film today for my second channel? I wanna film that, but it's not, what I should be doing right now because right now I need to start one geography question. And I actually didn't even write the video on my to-do list. So is it tempting to go film that video? Is it tempting to talk to you? Is it tempting to do everything? Yes, because when you're slightly uncomfortable and you don't want to do something, you like have the response that is like you're willing to do 
anything but this, even though it's not that bad. And so I'm gonna shut up immediately. I'm gonna go work on this and I'm gonna update you when I'm done with it. Wow, like, wow. I've gotten so much work done. Like the geography that I talked about before, I haven't wanted to do it for like months. And for like a month, I've been thinking about like that the fact that I should get to it, but I haven't. And today I did like a half of the work that I have to do. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna get back to you again. I'm gonna maybe try some new tricks. I can see the extreme benefits of no procrastination, but at the same time, it's like, I'm aware of how freaking tempting it is because now I need to catch those moments and like resist procrastinating and it's really cool but I'm gonna tell you the summary like at the end of the week so I need to shut up now and I'm gonna get back to you tomorrow. Hey y'all! So, oh my gosh I've never said that before, what the fuck? It's Tuesday. Which means it's another day to try not to procrastinate and I want to update you every single day. It is hard and I am not gonna lie, I might have procrastinated today a little bit when I came home because I came home really early and the problem that I've been facing today is I'm really tired. Like I'm now feeling like more awake because I've been trying to just do things that make me like more awake. Um, so hopefully now I'm gonna be able to do something. But today I decided to choose like new tactics or try like a new experiment thing. What I did, you're not gonna be able to see this and I got some drawings there because it was at school. But yeah, that's what it looks like. What I did today was I wrote down when I would do each of the tasks that I want to get done. And now I'm gonna have to go rewrite it because again I haven't been really productive and I'm really tired and there are things that it makes it just whatever my plan has changed for the things that I want to do so I'm gonna write a new list. It's currently 4 p.m. and I seriously think this is a great idea. Normally, I don't like this because I don't like limitations and restrictions and all that shit. So I don't like to do this, but I've never really tried to do it. And uh, I'm not sure if I've already said what I'm actually doing, but it's just to write the time that you're going to start that thing and like for how long you're going to do it. So here I wrote down, just do the geography, same story from yesterday from two to 3.30. Now, that time I was super tired and I actually started working on it, like, right away, but I wasn't capable to work on it because I was literally falling asleep and I couldn't focus. So, now I'm gonna, with my new plan, I'm gonna write down all the things that I want to do now and for how long I want to do this. And we'll see how it goes because I feel like this will allow me to organize my time and I'll make sure that I'm actually sticking to doing that thing for that amount of time. Like I said, it's four, I'm gonna shut up now, and I'm gonna go write down a new list. Like, yo, this is like, wow. It shows me just how much we're like addicted to it. I mean, it's like kind of unbelievable because there are so many distractions that it makes procrastination so tempting and we just have it imprinted in our brains. It's like, if you don't want to do it, then go procrastinate by doing something else. That is usually a total waste of time. It shows that the tasks are usually not even that difficult, you're just like, disgusted of the thought that you're gonna have to be working on this now and it's like no please don't but it's not actually that bad honestly like I never want to procrastinate again which obviously my brain is gonna like be like no girl you are gonna procrastinate <laughs> but I definitely want to live a more like less procrastination of life <laughs> We need to get it done, no matter if it's an essay or studying or whatever the fuck it might be. We have to do it at some point. And now, do you want it to bother you for weeks or however much time you have until the deadline and then die because you don't have time to write it? Or would you rather 
girl the fuck up and do it now. Like suck it up and sit down, turn everything off and just do it now because then you will be uncomfortable and you'll be like, I don't want to do this right now. I mean, I have three more weeks, but you're not going to regret it. Like you're going to get it done today or tomorrow or whatever. It depends on how much time you have for it, like how much time you need for it. You're gonna get it done now, and everyone else is gonna be so freaking jealous because they're gonna be working on it the night before, and you'll just be chilling there, like partying and doing whatever you wanna do. And I seriously, I dare you to try not to procrastinate for a week, and then you'll never wanna procrastinate again. Hey everyone, so it's time for an update. It's currently Saturday and I actually didn't update you for three days, but I didn't want to bail on this video, so I thought even though I didn't manage, I'm gonna talk to you now, cause I've been still trying not to procrastinate and there's been so much going on. I feel like this week was infinitely long and I couldn't keep up with it all. Trying not to procrastinate is really difficult. It's a lot about willpower and self-control and it's and also like being aware of what you're doing because I can see how subconscious procrastinating is and I'm gonna talk about this more but yeah like it's Saturday and I have a lot of shit done for school but I already did something that I need to do for like the end of March and sure I have skipped some things that I need to do for now because it was just something really easy and I thought, you know, I need to do it so I'm gonna get it out of the way. Like, I can see how many benefits it has and I honestly never want to procrastinate again, which I know is definitely gonna happen, but like, heck yeah. Like, it's not the end of the day yet, but I've already gotten some work done and that's freaking amazing and yeah. To sum it up, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday went really well, then on Thursday and Friday, I don't even know what happened, to be honest. Like, on Friday I went out and I basically got home really late, and then I only watched a movie with my mom, but like, I wasn't planning on doing anything, so I'd say that I didn't really procrastinate. Yesterday, I definitely did. I'm not gonna lie to you, I did procrastinate yesterday, because the thing is, I kind of didn't realize that the weekend would be pretty difficult because, you know, when you have the whole day ahead of you, it is so easy to procrastinate because you're like, I have so much time so I can just do this in the afternoon and right now I can go watch YouTube. And that is kind of what I did. Like, like I got work done, like I said in the video, but I didn't completely be, I didn't, I wasn't pro- I did procrastinate a little bit because there are some things that I said that I would do later and then I maybe did them later, but I was still procrastinating, so. <laughs> and like, at the beginning of the week I tried doing some certain things, but now at the end of the week I have been just trying not to procrastinate. When you try to work on not procrastinating, I would certainly recommend you to do some of the things that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, like, I mean, at the beginning of the week. Just telling yourself that you're not gonna procrastinate is just not very, like, strict, and I found myself drifting towards social media and just postponing it. And it's been a fun week, and, uh, did I not procrastinate? I certainly did, but... I didn't procrastinate nearly as much as I normally do. I've done so much stuff that I need to get done. I'm gonna shut up now, I'm gonna see you in the next video, and yeah, try not to procrastinate, and have a brilliant day. <laughs> Bye!